Lee Chatelier's Principle, Part 2. In my last session, I already discussed the factors, the two factors which affects the equilibrium uh, state. Okay, first one, effect of change on concentration and effect of change on temperature. Now, the third point, effect of change on pressure. Effect of change on pressure. So, what happens if there is a change in pressure in an equilibrium state? So, the change of pressure has effect only on those equilibria which involves gaseous substances. Gaseous substances. And also those which proceed with a change in number of moles. And those reactions which, which proceeds with a change in number of moles. This is important. Change in number of moles. Okay. So, in gaseous substances and proceed with a change in number of moles, on those equilibria only, the effect of change on pressure is taking place. So, according to Lee Chatelier's principle, what happens when there is an increase of pressure? When increase of uh, pressure on the system at equilibrium happens, it will shift the direction in which pressure is reduced. Okay. So, according to Lee Chatelier's principle, increase of pressure in equilibrium will shift the equilibrium in the direction where pressure is reduced okay where pressure is reduced pressure is reduced that is that is what happens the equilibrium will shift in the direction which has smaller number of moles of gaseous substances equilibrium will shift to the direction where smaller number of moles of gaseous substances okay let us take an example to explain this manufacture of ammonia consider the reaction n2 plus 3h2 gives 2nh3 okay in this reaction what happens the forward reaction is accompanied by decrease in number of moles see here number of moles is 4 1 plus 3 4 and here 2 so the forward reaction is accompanied by decrease in the total number of moles so as the pressure is increased what happens to the volume pressure is increased what happens volume decreases okay it is we know p is equal to n by v r t so as the pressure increases volume decreases as a result of this as the volume increases what happens larger number of molecules of gaseous substances per unit volume okay so as the volume decreases the number of molecules will be larger per unit volume will be larger because volume is decreasing as the pressure is increased volume is decreasing so in order to oppose this effect what happens equilibrium will shift in the direction where decrease in the number of moles okay so to oppose the effect what happens to oppose the effect equilibria will shift in the direction where number of moles are less where number of moles are less are less okay so uh, the if we increase the pressure what happens the uh, equilibrium will shift towards the forward direction this is in the case of effect of change on pressure okay so we can say in the manufacture of ammonia higher pressure favors manufacture of ammonia 
ओके हाइयर प्रेशर फेवर्स द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ अमोनिया बिकॉज द फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन फेवर्स ओके मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ अमोनिया let us take another example pcl5 gives pcl3 plus cl2 in this case here the number of mole is 1 here the reactant side 1 and this is 2 so what happens the reaction will shifts towards the direction where number of moles are less so backward reaction favors this process okay backward reaction fails as the pressure is increased what happens the backward reaction fails so pressure increased backward reaction fails now let us take another example h2 plus i2 gives 2 hi in this case what happens here we can see that number of moles are same on both sides that is we can say delta n is equal to 0 that is delta n is equal to n product minus n reactant so the difference is 0 so in such cases if a number of moles delta n is equal to 0 there will be no net change on pressure okay no net change this is the case so from this we can conclude that delta n is equal to np minus nr if delta n is positive delta n positive means what happens backward reaction favors in this case delta n positive means 2 minus 1 1 so delta n is po uh, positive backward reaction favors as the pressure is increased okay as pressure increases now what happens if delta n is negative forward reaction in the case of manufacture of ammonia forward reaction favors as pressure is increased okay this is the case next point effect of catalyst effect of catalyst in the case of catalyst what happens presence of catalyst does not disturb the equilibrium because it, uh, but it increases the rate of forward and backward reaction to the same extent so presence of catalyst presence of catalyst does not disturb the equilibrium but disturb equilibrium but it increases the rate okay increases the rate of forward and backward reaction okay so magnitude of the equilibrium constant what happens to the magnitude of the equilibrium constant it remains unchanged okay equilibrium constant remains unchanged but it increases the rate so this catalyst does not affect the position of the equilibrium but it helps to achieve equilibrium quickly okay now next fifth point effect of addition of inert gas effect of addition of inert gas what happens in this case so on in uh, if an inert gas like argon you know gas like argon is added what happens to a reaction mixture at constant volume volume is constant equilibrium remains undisturbed because the addition of a uh, inert gas at constant volume does not change the molar concentration or partial pressure of the substances involved in the reaction so equilibrium remains undisturbed equilibrium remains undisturbed because addition of this inert gases does, uh, does not change the molar concentration or partial pressure of the substances in the reaction okay this much about the lee chatelier's principle
Now let us do one problem based on this. With the help of Lee Chatelier's principle, predict the favorable conditions to get good yield of SO3 in the reaction. The reaction is given 2SO2 plus O2 gives 2SO3. Okay, forward reaction is exothermic and backward reaction is endothermic. First, if, first case, as the uh, effect of concentration, what happens? Effect of concentration. Okay, if we add the reactants SO2 and O2 to the mixture, what happens? As the concentration increases, in order to get more product, forward reaction fails. Okay, so equilibrium will shift in the forward direction. So, forward reaction, forward reaction favors to get better yield. Okay, now second case, effect of temperature. Effect of temperature, what happens? Effect of temperature. The forward reaction is exothermic and backward reaction is endothermic. So, in the case of temperature, as the temperature is increased, what happens? The endothermic reaction favors. So, backward reaction favors. So, in order to get better yield, more product, what we have to do? We have to decrease the temperature. At low temperature, forward reaction favors. Okay. Forward reaction favors. Now, next case. Effect of Pressure, what happens? Effect of pressure. We have to consider the number of moles. Here, number of moles 3. Here, number of moles is 2. Okay. So, what happens? The, if we increase the pressure, the reaction will proceed in the direction where number of moles is less. So, increased in pressure, forward reaction favors to get better yield. Okay. So, Increase in pressure, forward reaction favors, forward reaction favors. Okay, so we can conclude that in order to get better yield of SO3, we have to add the concentration, we have to increase the concentration of the reactants and at a low temperature and reaches at a me optimum temperature okay reaches an optimum temperature at optimum temperature and at high pressure we will get better yield of SO3 okay